always a little nervous to get a haircut in other places. That was one of the few times in all of our travels we've been told we weren't allowed to film somewhere. Yeah. So we got what we got, but apparently you're not allowed to film in the mall in the Petrona Towers. <laughs> so. No luck with finding any like real food, and I'm getting slightly hangry, so <laughs> decided to get some juice. It was five bring it for this, and it's green apple and lemon. It's super sour. <laughs> at the end. Good morning from absolutely beautiful Kuala Lumpur. Today is our first day in this amazing city and we are so excited to be able to explore it. Honestly, our very first thoughts are like we're just blown away by how pretty this city is. <laughs> Not only is it super pretty, it's so green. Yes. And all the buildings seem so modern and it just, we filmed a whole video last night and us going to a night market and I said it all last night. I just love Kuala Lumpur, like it's amazing. Yeah, I mean today we're just kind of exploring the city and our first stop is we're heading to KLCC Park and the Petronas Towers, so. so let's go. Our first unobstructed views of the famous Petrona Towers right now. We actually can see the Petrona Towers from the balcony of our Airbnb. So we've seen it a little bit. We've seen it at night. At night, it's like beautifully lit up. Uh -huh. Like it's amazing. But they are absolutely gigantic. Yeah, they're huge. Like you have to crank your neck all the way back to look up to see the top of it. It's just a really pretty building. There's so many like beautiful buildings in this city that I feel like you never hear about how pretty this city is. Yeah. So we're at the Petronas Towers. There is a skywalk that's that you can pay to go to, but it's a little bit out of our budget. So we're gonna go to the backside, to KLCC Park, and we should get some pretty cool views of the towers from there. In kind of stereotypical Southeast Asian fashion, you see these big, huge, beautiful buildings from the outside, and then in the inside, there's usually a mall here. <laughs> And there's no different in here. There's a huge mall in here. It has a bunch of designer luxury stores. Once you go up a little bit more, I think it gets a little bit more basically priced, but... It's, I mean, crazy. The mega malls of Southeast Asia are <laughs> insane, and it just doesn't stop here. And anytime you go in... Oh, we can't film here. Uh, well, that was one of the few times in all of our travels we've been told we weren't allowed to film somewhere. Yeah. So we got what we got, but... Apparently you're not allowed to film in the mall in the Petrona Towers, <laughs> so. Yeah, but now we are outside. And again, a beautiful, like, beautiful. Pretty crazy, in the middle of a big city you have all this green space, this beautiful park. It's like, it's, I don't know, this is, it's crazy here. There's a lot of people just relaxing here, walking around. It's cool in the shade because it is really hot out in the sun, but the fountains are going. It's a good place to just relax. Nice just seeing the millions of selfies being taken and people just chilling. And there's even a public pool here. It's crazy. It's really good. This would be a really nice place if you lived here to just come and chill for a minute. All right, just spent 35 minutes at the park and now we are heading to the subway system to go towards a pretty famous day market. On top of the market, we're gonna try to get good old Kyle here a haircut. <laughs> yep, I need a haircut, it's been a minute. It's much overdue, so <laughs> we're gonna try to get a haircut, get some food because we're starving and yeah. explore the market. I think I'm gonna try a famous Ramley burger, so we'll see what all the hype is about. So pretty much for the subway system, you just use these, go to the machine, you can pay for your ticket, and then you use these little chips and you use them to scan in and out. It's super efficient, you don't have to buy a card or anything, and it's really nice. Also, it is pretty dang cheap to ride the subways here. We paid to go, oh, 
To go right now, we are paying um, four Malaysian ringgit, so really cheap. Just left the subway, we you just insert your little chip into a slot and it takes it and then you can get out. But the subways here are really efficient, they're really clean, it's everybody's super cheap. Yeah, super cheap and everyone's really quiet. They have good public transport, so that's a big plus. Yeah. Especially when you're budget traveling like they are. Yeah. Because then we like this way more than busing usually, so it's really nice. Yeah. Coming up on Pedaling Street Market now, and this is a day market. It closes by, I think, like 6 or 7 p.m. This is actually known to be like a big, like, kind of like fake market. So, like, a lot of fakes, maybe fake designer bags, purses, stuff like that. Right now, it looks like we're kind of walking up onto the food area, which we are going to get first because it's like 1 p.m. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so let's go see what kind of good food we can buy. It kind of leads you into the Chinatown area. You can definitely tell like the Chinese traditional culture influence here. And we're not really into like all the fake designer stuff. We wouldn't even care to have real designer stuff. So we're not really interested in that. We're more interested in just walking around and just feeling the vibes of the market. It's one of our favorite things to do. But we still have not found like the food area. We thought we were walking up onto it, but we weren't. So let's go find it. All right, we've been walking around for a little while now. No luck with finding any like real food and I'm getting slightly hangry. So I decided to get some juice. It was five bring it for this and it's green apple and lemon. I'm a little nervous to try. It's good at first. We get super sour <laughs> at the end. Woohoo! The end is very sour. <laughs> Try it. It's a little tart at the end. <clears throat> I think it could do without the lemon. Ooh. Yeah. It's not bad, but the end just gets sour. <laughs> Alright, so we came into the, this little like food court type of area. It reminds us of like a hawker center in Singapore, but they have like food from like Vietnam, Thai, Myanmar, it's like basically everywhere, China. So Maddie picked a um, called clay pot chicken rice. I've seen a lot of clay pot dishes here. I'm not sure if it's like local to the area, but we're gonna give it a try. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. It smells like it's gonna be really good. Yeah, definitely it's very soy sauce based. It's really good, honestly. It's like a pretty simple dish, it seems like, but really good. I really wanna know. Alright, we just finished up our food. It's getting very hot in here. Hot, hot. But we have two more things left that we want to do today. We need to get Kyle a haircut and we need to find Kyle a Ramley burger so that he can I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. We didn't have enough cash, so we had to go to the ATM really quick. Now Kyle's going to get a haircut. Yep, and it's a lot cheaper than I would get at home. So <laughs> let's hope it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I'll post a picture on here when we're editing it. But Kyle used to have super long hair, and when <laughs> we were like 18, he got his hair cut, and he uses the same one <laughs> reference picture. Every single time he gets his haircut. <laughs> so let's see how close he gets to it. <laughs> Alright, haircut. Looks like it's going to be 26 grand. I'm always a little nervous to get a haircut in other places, so. This is much less funny than the last time Kyle got a haircut in a foreign country. And he was getting like the crap beat out of him in the world. But 
It's looking good. We'll show you the final results. Thank you. Yes, oh, thank, thank you. you very much. All right, this is my haircut. I think it looks pretty good. It was only 26 ringgit too, which is like a fourth of the price of what I would pay at home for a haircut. And he was really thorough with everything he did. I really didn't have to direct him a whole lot. Told him, showed him the picture of my haircut. I just had to tell him at one point to go a little bit shorter on the top. And he did really good. So I'm really happy with this. And the last stop for the day is highly anticipated by me, a Ramley Burger stand and a little bit of history on it. Supposedly Ramley Burger was like brought into Malaysia in the, like the 1980s when McDonald's started franchising and um, the people here needed a halal burger that they could eat and they didn't trust the meat products that were being imported from other countries into Malaysia to be halal. So they kind of started their own little burger and that's where the Ramley Burger came about. So. Let's go and see how it is. Is a burger, a burger special, and a burger cheap? No, no way. So I ordered the special beef burger. Let's see how it is. It's only it's only five ringgit, so it's really cheap. My burger is on the grill right now, but he is getting all the toppings and everything put on the bun, and he is loading this thing up. It looks like it's gonna be pretty good. I got some jelly drinks, they're gigantic. <laughs> they're like a dollar a piece. All right, here it is. My thick Ramley burger. Put it in a nice Ramley packaging. You guys saw him cook it up, wrap it in the egg. It looks pretty good. Super, super saucy. And it smells really good. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty good. Coming from the United States, we, a lot of hamburgers, a lot of cheeseburgers. It's not just a myth. But this burger is one of the better burgers I've had in a foreign country. Especially off of the street for five right now. He loaded this thing up with onion, tomato, lettuce, a bunch of sauce and that egg it's wrapped in. Kind of hard to eat. Really good though. You can see where all the hype is from a Ramley burger. This is definitely something I would get again, but. Kyle's just gonna finish his burger. We're gonna head back to our place, probably go in the pool, cause it's so hot. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that is our day and our first real impressions of Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. This city's amazing. We kinda love it here. Amazing, we can't wait to explore the rest of Malaysia and show you guys what we get up to, so. So, we'll see you guys when we're exploring some other parts of Malaysia. All right, see you later. Are you here on holiday? Yes, I am. How long for? I have a photo of the king and the queen. Very rare photo. <laughs> I just took a video with the lucky, lucky, king lucky. and queen of Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs>